All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are around the world. My name is Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and this is the first time I've been on live in quite some time. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I know it sounds repetitive. However, this really does help my channel grow as I am a small content creator that is here to make content for you guys all about coffee. So today I'm actually going to be showing you how I installed my pitcher rinser and my drip tray uh, for my home coffee bar. Now, the title of this says how to improve your coffee workflow. And the reason I say the coffee workflow is because I don't know where your home brew station is at your house. However, when I get done making my coffee and stuff in here, I usually have to go over to the kitchen to rinse my pitchers out or my espresso cups and I just wanted to make it a little bit easier so that a way it can be uh, a little bit more um, easier on the workflow when I am pulling shots continuously here. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm gonna take you guys into a closer look on how I installed all of my stuff and let's get going here. All right, so uh, first I'll just show you uh, what I did. So this is what I made here. This is, I made it about the same height as my, uh, pre, as my bar right now. And I installed the pitcher rinser. So it's not too, too hard. All it is is literally a cut out hole to where you can place this on and it sits right in. Same with the drip tray. Uh, it's just obviously uh, drilled in the hole or cut out the hole and placed the drip tray in. However, it does help a lot. So you can take this off to get to the actual drain there and it does drain into an empty bucket and I will show you how I installed all of this in a second. It is a bit challenging to get it out with one hand, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna take a look under the hood here. Let me go ahead and turn this light on so you have a better view. Okay, so there is the pump right there. So that pump is obviously what makes all of this capable and working. So what happens is, is there is a switch right there and that turns the whole pump on. So that big thick white tube that's right there, it goes all the way up and it feeds into that fresh water bucket. So these are four gallon buckets and pretty much it draws the water from this bucket and it goes all the way up through that thick tube and into the bottom there. And then it goes out through that little white tube right here, feeds all the way around into a connector to go into a bigger tube, which then feeds it into the bottom part of the uh, pitcher rinser. And then there is a drain for the pitcher rinser, which is right there and that's going to feed down and into obviously the murkier water here, which is obviously the drain bucket. So this is an empty four gallon bucket that you can purchase the same thing. I bought both of these gallon buckets at Menards. I think it was like six or $7, which isn't bad. I just had to do some cutting up here to get both of the tubes to fit uh, snugly so that way they don't fall out. That one, you just take this whole plastic piece off and that cap just fits right over the top of that bucket, which is nice. So then obviously we have the drip tray, which is up there, which you guys can see. Try to point on it on the camera right here. So that feeds down and that's obviously a connector that comes into the tube that also comes down into the drip tray. Well, I know it's not hard. I didn't want to come down here every morning and reach through here to click that on and off. So I keep that on at all times and I will show you what I do now. So I did install a little tiny switch here. Really hard to see, kind of hidden over there. However, this does make it a lot easier to have an on off switch. Uh, so that way you can turn it on and off. So here we can just hit, or I'll show you it off first. So if I come over here and grab, I'll grab, a, I'll grab a clear cup so you guys can see the water. So obviously it's off right now. I go to push it, nothing. And then I have it to where I just push this button here. Let me zoom in. 
and now it turns on and now it fills water. It's extremely nice, it's really easy to use and I would definitely recommend this for any of your coffee bars because I can't tell you how many times I actually go to pull a shot of espresso and I have to go back into my kitchen. I know it's not hard, but for something so simple like this to do at your house, it just saves you so much time and it actually cleans your milk pitchers. If you're a milk-based drinker, it takes all that nasty milk from the sides that's hard to clean uh, right off. So one more time, on, you gotta click this off, turns that off here to where there's nothing. And then you come back over here, click it on, and you have fresh water again. Really nice, and then you just set it right on the drip tray, and then that, like I said, all drains into this murkier bucket here, which is empty. You can see the two tubes there. And yeah, it's extremely simple. Um, I did build this cabinet, so uh, it is nice to have. And I would definitely, like I said, recommend this for anyone's coffee bar because it has saved me a ton of time going back and forth. All right, so with that being said, is this for everybody? No, however, I strongly recommend getting some kind of pitcher rinse or setup in your house, whether it's an in-sink version in your kitchen. Uh, they make those on Amazon. I believe they're like $60, $70 that you can just kind of put in your kit, uh, put it on your sink where you drill a hole and then you plumb it in there. Or you can do something like I did, build something like a small cabinet to in-house the four gallon bucket so it doesn't look like that. Now they do make a countertop version. This is the counter sink version to where obviously it sits flush with the wood. Also the same with the drip tray. They do make drip trays to where it does sit on top on the counter just like the, uh, the, the uh, pitcher rinser. However, uh, in my setup, I think it looks a lot cleaner to have it all mounted together and in one, one unit as a whole. Now, if you want to, you can just have the four gallon buckets outside and then just run all the plumbing in the back of your bar uh, or the back of your table, whatever you're using at home to brew your espresso or coffee or whatever. And then you can just kind of, you can see the cords, but it's not the end of the world. It's just gonna make your day a lot easier in the long run because obviously uh, it's so much easier to just stick this straight on here and to push it to allow the water to clean the pitcher. So again, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys have any questions on how I built this table or built this stand here for the pitcher rinser, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments below and I might make another video how I made that table. Um, also, if you are all interested in one, I may or may not be uh, making them to sell. So if any of you guys are interested, definitely let me know. If you wanna know how I made it, let me know. And I really appreciate your feedback. Is this, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I would like to hear from you. Is this something that you would want in your home espresso bar or just want in your kitchen in general to clean all of your cups, your shaker bottles, anything? Uh, yeah, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Please hit that like button if you guys are watching also. Um, this has been a great adventure and I can't wait to continue the year of 2022 making great coffee, uh, different tips, tricks, and how to build uh, certain things that I have upcoming in the future. So as always, my name is Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar. This is my wife, Barista Brittany. And as always, stay caffeinated. Peace. Peace. Don't forget to answer the questions later.